Welcome back to the library students. I'm excited for you to begin your Earth Science Research Project and I'm looking forward to helping you along the way. Before you get started we are going to review how to look for sources of information and how to evaluate those sources once you found them. As you all know information can be found everywhere. It is our job as responsible digital citizens to be able to use our time wisely when searching for information and critically evaluate sources to make sure they fit our needs. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to create a research question and corresponding search statement, find sources of information relevant to your topic, and evaluate the quality of information sources. Mrs. Clack has given you an assignment to determine the environmental impacts of hydraulic fracking in order to create an evidence-based argument either for or against hydraulic fracking as a means to recover natural gas. Before we can begin our search, we need to create a research question. A research question should be open-ended so that we can retrieve a large amount of information. So for this project, one possible research question might be, what are the environmental impacts of using hydraulic fracking to recover natural gas? From that research question, we can create our search statement. A search statement does not have to be a complete sentence. Rather, it is a word or phrase that you will search for. From our research question, we can pull out the keywords hydraulic fracking, natural gas, and environmental impact. We will use these words to begin our search. To begin your search, you will open Google Chrome and go to the Kentucky Virtual Library by typing kyvl.org. From the home page, you will select High School Students and then select EBSCOhost. EBSCOhost is an online reference system that offers a broad range of full text and bibliographic databases and is designed for research. Now we are ready to use our search statement to conduct our search. In the first row, we will type hydraulic fracking. In EBSCOhost, you have the option to select a field if one of them applies to your search. For the purpose of our search, we are not going to select a field. In the second text row, we will type natural gas. Notice that the word AND appears before the row in which we typed natural gas. AND is a Boolean operator that means our search will be refined to only sources that include the phrases hydraulic fracking and natural gas. If we only wanted one of those terms to be present in our search results, we could select the Boolean operator OR, but for the sake of this search, we will leave it as AND. In the last text row, we will type in environmental impact. and then hit the enter key. Our search resulted in 107 sources. We can apply the same search statement to a search engine. Open the Google Chrome icon on your desktop and go to Google. In the search bar we will type the same search statement and we will need to add the boolean operator AND between each phrase so that our results include hydraulic fracking, natural gas, and environmental impact. As you can see, our search resulted in 738,000 results. So now that we have many sources of information, we should narrow these results so that we are able to find and use sources that contain the information that we need. Going back to our EBSCOhost search, we want to narrow our results so that they are relevant for what we need. First, we can limit our results to only full text articles by checking the box. That lowered our results to 60. We can also select the publication date for our sources. We know that science is constantly changing, so when researching information about science, we need to review recent information. As a general rule, we only want sources that are 5 years old or younger. As you can see, the results for our search are between the publication date of 2009 and 2014 which is five years. If you wanted to narrow your search even more, you would simply adjust the bar beneath the publication date. Lastly, we can narrow our results to the subject. By clicking the drop-down arrow, we can see the subjects that are represented in our results. 
For our search purposes, the second option, hydraulic fracturing environmental aspects, seems to be the most appropriate, so we will check that box. Our search results are now narrowed down to four, which is a very manageable number. From here, you can select each source and review the abstract to determine if the article is worth reading. Back to our Google search, we can refine our 783,000 search results based on the authority of the website. You can see that our first result ends with .com, while our second result is Wikipedia, which ends in .org. As a general rule, you can always trust websites that end in .edu, which come from educational colleges and universities, and websites that end in .gov, which come from the government. Some people say you can trust .org, but that is not always the case. One prime example of that is Wikipedia. Additionally, because hydraulic fracking is a controversial subject, some organizations that have particular bias to one side or another have created websites that end in .org to educate the public about their stance. Since we only want objective sources, we are going to avoid websites that end in .org. We want to narrow our search results to only those that end in .edu and .gov. We will do that by going back to the search bar and after the word impact, we should type site colon .edu or site colon .gov. When we do that, our search results are narrowed to 36,100 with our first two results coming from the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency. Let's see if we can narrow these results down even more. First, we need to look for accuracy. When reviewing a source, ask yourself these questions. Are these sources for factual information clearly listed so they can be verified in another source? Is the information free of grammatical, spelling, and other typographical errors? If you answer yes to both of these questions, then your source is accurate. Second, we need to look for currency. When reviewing a source, ask yourself this question. Are there dates on the page to indicate when the page was written, when the page was first placed on the web, and when the page was last revised? Again, if you answer yes, then your source has currency. Keeping these steps in mind, you are ready to conduct your research. If the option is available, you may print, save, or email your source as needed. To review, start by creating a research question and using keywords to create your search statement. Input your specific search terms. Use Boolean operators to clarify your search. Refine your search results by topic, authority, and objectivity. Check for accuracy and currency. And be sure to keep track of the sources you use for your references page. Good luck on your project. If you have any questions as you research or need additional assistance, please come to the library and find me.